What's going on everyone? I'm in the Heights today, which is pretty cool. But interesting fact, or interesting something that happened to me, I got, I made a TikTok. I made a TikTok and it got like 650,000 views on it. And the funny thing is I put all this effort and everything else and I make a small clip about me singing about a water heater and it blows up. It gets 600,000 views. I don't get it. It is kind of funny, so check it out. Walking into a bedroom, opening up a closet, found a water heater without a self-closing door or properly sealed. One inch clearance, no ventilation, compromised tank. Where is the carbon monoxide going? So that's pretty interesting. So apparently all you have to do is sing about all the defe defects of a water heater and boom, you blow up. We went from 17,000 followers to like 32,000 followers in a matter of a week, which is really interesting. I guess home inspections are slowly catching on with all the defects that can happen with the home. So this Heights home has been redone. It's a 1920s home. So it's like 100 years old, 95 years old or something like that. So it's old. So what we, this is pretty interesting. We're gonna go in and try to find absolutely everything we can. A lot of times on these older homes, they will leave the knob and tube in the walls or in the attic space and put a new panel box and they'll splice into it up there. I see that pretty often. So let's see if we find that today. Let's go check it out. Welcome back everybody. This week's giveaway is going to be survival limb fishing poles and a poncho. So it's a rollout poncho. I know home inspectors need this. Came in the battle box and uh, it comes branded a little bit. Has uh, good buttons on it, has a hood. So if you want to win these, make sure you leave a comment and hit a like button. Oh, one more thing before I start on this property. We will announce the winner in the middle of this video for last week's video. So every video will show the new prize and in the middle of the next video, we'll always announce the end. Isis will always announce the winner. All right, now for real, let's go check it out. So our first initial quick walk through, the first find was is, uh, we had previous signs of water leaks. So we're gonna load test the sink and the garbage disposal to make sure they're tight. But we also have like kind of a mildew smell coming out of here. So we'll put this in our inspection report. Next thing was in the side front corner bedroom. We noticed there are some dark spots on the floor and uh, you could step on it and uh, the floor actually bows. I'm not that heavy, but when Josh D, uh, oh, there you go, you can kind of see it right there, stood on it, it really moved. So unfortunately we can't get in the crawl space today. So I told them if they provide me access, I'll come back uh, for free to knock it out. So right here in the back, this is the access and it's boarded up really tight. You know, it's nailed completely through. I would crawl this crawl space easily, uh, but you can see there's no other access anywhere on the property, even around the front. So uh, this is something that I, I kind of do as a courtesy with our company. We'll do little quick stop bys if that's all I'm knocking out. Another common call out is uh, the condenser at grade. You want this three to four inches above grade because this can rot out the base of your AC unit. and. Uh, reduce the life expectancy, but it sounds good. Sounds good right now. Yeah, it's pretty new You can see it's a 2012 unit four ton and it has 410 a Freon So it's a it's a newer unit. It's pretty nice. We just need to make sure that it's above grade because There's no point in reducing your unit's life just by some a simple fix like that Another quick spot you can find whenever you're looking at properties are these square pieces these square pieces uh, signify that they've had previous foundation work on this on the slab and around this garage apartment unit. You can see uh, you have a prior repair done. Another quick spot is right here. You can see this little circle and it's filled in. That's uh, signs of previous termite treatment on the property. So they also, they also have treated for termites in the past too as well. So newer roof looks pretty good composite shingle all the flashing looks painted sealed up just have a little bit of debris on it that's a pretty minor call out all the turbines are working which is nice and we got Josh Donahoe inspecting over there 
Another call, common call out we see all the time is the trees within the service entrance wires over there. So we call that out and then we also recommend to trim trees uh, that are close to the, the roof structure on, the, on this property. So I was wrong, that wasn't the service. This is the service, oops. Uh, so you can see the drip loops in place in the same, same condition you have. Uh, you need to start, trim the trees away from the service entrance lines. When walking around the exterior, you always want to spot surface drains. Look in them if you can. You can see this one's pretty clogged, so you always want to make sure that you document that and inform the buyer that they want to clean it out pretty much immediately. Safety concerns, Trek makes us uh, call it out. Three or more stairs, you're required to have a handrail. Um, that's a deal killer right there. That's it. You can't buy it anymore. No, no handrail. <laughs> And, and what he's ta what he's documenting right here is the um, you want to keep everything sealed up, uh, try to reduce the amount of rodents and insects into your property and water too as well. You can call out missing weep poles on older older properties, but you do want to inform your client it's been like that since the beginning of time. So uh, you want to make sure that this is not anything significant. If they want to add it in, you just literally just get a drill bit and send it in. Uh, next thing is uh, the thermal pane has lost its seal right here. Uh, easy call out too. And these windows look a little bit older. I'm at newer, sorry, newer. Uh, they might fall under warranty. A lot of window companies will come out for free and replace this under their warranties. We do document trees that are close to the property. And you can see uh, this, all these roots and the water kind of pour. It, it's pouring away. I say we have really good slope right here but uh, you want to pay attention in this specific area and you want to crawl uh, over here and keep this tree in mind just to determine if it's caused any damage uh, to the structure. Right now, it doesn't appear like it has. You can see uh, the fascia and the soffit and the freeze board. There's not really any major separation. I don't see any separation in between the windows. There's no deflection cracks across the side of the brick and you can see there's no separation around this window either. So. I can say uh, this looks pretty good. They have added, this might be an add-on over here of some sort because you can see an old door used to be here. There's an expansion joint and even the expansion joint is uh, straight from top to bottom. So I would say this tree has not affected the structure. So the best thing you can do is uh, keep it watered. So the back of the property has a lot of wood to ground contact of this garage apartment. And you can see, um, it's rotted out the base of the board right here and uh, this condition invites termites to the property they have had a previous treatment like i discussed before so you want to ask uh, their agent or the seller their treatment plan to see if this area was covered in the past so we have a newer condenser on the outside you can see it's not exactly level uh, you, you want these things to be installed one inch of the level or it puts too much stress on the motor. And you can see right here, uh, this one is a 2016 three and a half ton. So uh, it's, a, it's a nicer unit. It's gonna have the 410A Freon in it. So just uh, something to keep in mind right there. Same thing on the other side of the garage apartment. You got wood to ground contact all the way across. And I mean, this is the perfect environment for termites. Perfect. Yeah, let's see. Uh, this wood's a little weak right here. So we'll try to see if we can see anything in there. So looking at this garage apartment, you can see the, the whole doorway's leaning right here. And then you can see the floor sloped in and you got water damage all along the base in this area. So you wanna try to keep big picture mind open whenever you're looking at this stuff. You can kind of see how the door's closing itself. And um, so this is something that you definitely want to repair because water's gonna constantly uh, travel in there. And if you have a renter in there, that's gonna be one of the first things that they're gonna to talk to the, the owner about. Another call out is whenever they don't have the proper clearance from the roof here, and you can even see the wood starting to weaken right here from too much water traffic. So they have a lot of water rolling down here fallen in this area we have negative drainage pouring in this area and it's caused the uh, the, the doorway to lean so 
this I would have to say is probably one of their their major areas of concern on this property. Okay, before I head up to the attic, Isis, who won the prize? Hey everybody, it's Isis. Thank you so much for entering the giveaway. We're gonna go ahead and announce the winner. We had 26 people enter, so that's great. Let me switch the screen over and we can see who won. All right, guys. So um, I entered everybody's names into the name picker. So we're gonna go ahead, click start, and then we're gonna find out who won. And the winner is Brian Barker. All right, let's go. So <laughs> we will contact you to let you know that you won. Or if you see this first, you can go ahead and contact us. And don't forget to enter the next giveaway, everybody. Have a great week. So in the attic space, I noticed there's some staining uh, on the decking over here around the flues. I do believe it's old. I don't see any signs in this new insulation of droplets in the area. We'll do an infrared scan on the inside too as well. But you know, this uh, insulation looks nice. Um, the uh, furnace door is just a little damaged. The coils match the outside unit. The ducts are uh, lifted and separated uh, really nicely. And then also uh, they do have Romex wiring in the attic space too as well. Obviously, I can't see below the insulation, but you know, typically when someone doesn't do the wiring correctly, you spot it almost immediately. If you can see way back there in the corner, uh, you can see that's a junction box capped off and <laughs> capped off and all the Romex wiring coming out of it. So I have a pretty good feeling that uh, they did the wiring correctly. I can always remove like an, an outlet or two uh, to check out on the inside. So. Yeah, water heater looks pretty good uh, too as well. Oh, one other thing too, they added in a lot of additional support. Typically on these older homes, uh, you have zero purlin or, or, or collar ties in a property like this. So they obviously went, whoever remodeled this home really knew what they were doing. And uh, I say they did a pretty good job up here. Same thing up in the attic space of this garage apartment, you can see they added in a, a lot of additional support, especially due to the age of the property. They have the duct work suspended pretty nicely. They have bat insulation across the whole area. Romex wiring, so you can see they replaced the old wiring on this 100 year old home. Uh, newer uh, heater, the heater and the, the coils match the outside uh, unit. But also, uh, you could write this up, you know, poor access to the, uh, the unit. It's uh, kind of hard to get to. The attic ladder is actually installed this way, so your average home buyer can't get to it. But again, you know, this, this attic's 100 years old, so, you know, you're not going to get everything. <laughs> so the, I would say this one is actually in really good shape, too, and uh, no signs of major alarms. Another th positive thing I noticed is they have copper plumbing in this garage apartment so they've also replaced all the galvanized or older plumbing system with copper and a PVC throughout the structure so that's really nice you know I say the contractors on this you don't typically see this or whoever was in charge of remodeling this property did a pretty good job. One of the, the bigger things that kind of points towards, I would say the, the wood rot or the damaged floors is there's absolutely zero ventilation on this older property. So uh, whenever I come back later, I can shoot another video to show you what it looks like underneath, but they're gonna have to open it up for us to come back to really develop a final opinion about the uh, foundation. So in conclusion, you kept hearing me say it's not that bad or you know this is normal, but you know this property is really good. It's a hundred year old home, has two new AC units, two new roofs, new wiring, new plumbing, foundation's been worked on in the past. So yes, as a home inspector, we're still always going to find something. But you got to think of the big picture showing that this home is actually in pretty good condition and a lot of money has been, been put into it too as well. And whoever did the work did it properly as you can see in the attic area. So um, with that being said, with the things that I would focus on is I would focus on the drainage around that garage where it's caused that door to cant sideways and you have constant water flow. And then of course the wood rot around the structure and inside the structure. 
and we'll have to come back to the foundation. We, I don't know how bad that poor ventilation has affected it until I really get underneath there because say it's been like that for a hundred years and there isn't any real damage underneath the uh, foundation. I'd say it's probably okay, you know, but we need to make sure, we'll still write it up as poor ventilation because we have to, but let's come to a final opinion later whenever I can come back to it. So please, if you want to win the prize, hit that like and comment and subscribe and uh, catch us on the next one. Thanks guys.